Matthew 22, verse 35. Then one of them, which was the lawyer, asked him a question, tempting him and saying, Master, which is the great commandment in the law? So this man came unto Christ, the black Messiah, and asked him. He asked him, which is the great commandment in the law? Let's see how Christ answered his question. Read. Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. And this is the this is the first and great commandment. And the second is like unto the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. So this scripture right here, Christianity read it, and they say, This is all we gotta do. All we gotta do is love the Lord. Say I love the Lord. You understand? I love my brother as myself. And they do not they do not, don't even understand what Christ is saying. You understand? He said on these two commandments have all the law and all the prophets. So everything the prophet says and everything the law says hang on the hang under these two commandments. You understand? But now I'm going to explain what Christ was talking about. Okay? Um read it again from the top. And Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. So what does it mean to love the Lord with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind? What does the word love mean? Go to 1 John, 2 John 1 and 6. I'm going to explain to you what does the word love mean. Because when the Bible uses that word, it's not talking about your emotions. You understand? When the Bible uses that word, this is what it's talking about. 2 John 1 and 6. 2 John 1 and 6. And this is love, that we walk after his commandments. This is the commandment that as you have heard from the beginning, we should walk in it. And this is love what? And this is love that we walk after his commandments. So if you say you love the Most High, you're going to walk after his commandments. You understand? That's how you show the Most High that you love him. By walking after his commandments. Which commandments? Read. This is the commandment that as ye have heard from the beginning. The commandments that you have heard from the beginning. What does that mean from the time of Moses? You understand? That's the commandment that he's talking about. For instance, remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. You understand? Today is the Sabbath day. You show the most how you love him by what? By keeping the Sabbath day. You understand? That's how you show the most how you love him. Go to um, 1 John 5 and 3. Explain more in love. You understand? Show, show what people what love really means according to the scriptures. Right here. First John 5 and 3. For this is love of God, that we keep his commandments. What is the love of God? That we keep his commandments. The love of God is that we keep his commandments. That's what the Bible says. You understand? It's not talking about emotions. It's not talking about that tingly feeling that you all got inside. Oh, I love the Lord, but tonight you're going to the club. You understand? Oh, I love the Lord, but tonight you're going to commit adultery. You understand? That ain't love. That's hatred. That's hatred. So read it again. For this is love of God, that we keep his commandments. So this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments. Read. And his commandments are not grievous. And the most high commandments is not hard. You understand? What's hard about not committing adultery? What's hard about, what's hard about keeping the Sabbath day? Huh? What's hard about that? Deuteronomy 10 and 12. So what we explaining here, what is love according to the scripture? What does it mean to love the most high God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind? Alright? Deuteronomy 10 and 12. Deuteronomy 10 verse 12. And now Israel, what does the Lord thy God require of thee? And now Israel, what does the Lord thy God require of you. As I said, who are the Israelites? The so-called black and Hispanics of the slave trade that was made slaves in the Americas and throughout the earth for breaking the most high God laws and commandments. Those people are the Israelites. Read. Read it again from the top. 
And now, Israel, what doth the Lord thy God require of thee? But to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways, and to love him. And to so to, to love him, to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways, read on, and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. Yeah. To keep his commandments of the Lord. And to what? To keep his commandments of the Lord and his statutes. So that's what the Lord thy God require of us, being Israelites, the so-called Negroes of the slave trade. He said to walk in all his, to, to, to love him with all our heart, all our soul, and all our mind. This right here show you, Christ didn't just, didn't just make up this commandment. This, this was a law from the beginning. Moses gave us that law. But guess what? We never used to keep it. We never used to love the Lord with all our heart, with all our soul, and with all our mind. All right? From there, um, from there, go back to Matthew 22 and 35. So when you say you love the most, I go with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. That means what? You're going to do the commandments that pertain to the most high. You know, from the whole lot. Let me go to um, Exodus 2, 20 and 2. That means all the commandments pertaining to the most high, you're going to do it with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. That's all that's saying. You understand? That's what that is saying. So when you read, when you read in the scriptures, every commandment that pertains to the most high, Christ covered all of them just by saying to love the Lord with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. All right? Exodus 20 verse 3. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. So that's the first commandment. Thou shalt have no other God before me. That's one of the commandments. You understand? If you love the Lord with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind, you're going to pay that. You understand? You ain't going to get no Caesar up in your house. Okay? You ain't going to get Buddha up in your house. You ain't going to get Allah up in your house. You understand? So that's the first commandment that pertains to, that's one of the commandments that pertains to the Most High. If you love him, you're going to do that. You understand? And a lot of our people is ignorant to, when you get, when you set up that white image, when you get that white image set up in your house, a Caesar Bourgeois, that's who that white Christ is, you are breaking this commandment. You understand? A lot of our people, they do that in ignorance. Because guess what? That's what was, that what was taught to you in slavery. You understand? You was taught to, to worship that white image. You understand? And if you didn't worship that white image, you was put to death. But guess what? Today you got liberty not to worship that white image. You ain't gonna be put to death today. Right now, at this time, you understand? And our people ain't wanna let go of that white image. But read, read the third verse again. <coughs> Thou shalt have no other gods before me. So when you worship, when you set up that white image in your house, you are having another God. You understand? And when you do that, you don't love the Lord with all your heart and all with all your soul and with all your mind. You understand? Read the read the read the other verse. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in the heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them. So the scripture said, Thou shalt not make any graven images. You understand? When you make graven images, you understand? Guess what? You don't love the Lord with all your heart, your soul, and your mind. When you got the cross around your neck, you don't love the Lord with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. You understand? Because the scripture said not to make any graven images. Hey, maybe this is a winning. You understand? Um, read on. Read from um, start of verse five. No, start of verse six. Um, no, start of verse eight. Remember the seventh day to keep it holy. Read that again. These are laws and commandments that pertain it to the Most High God. You understand? These commandments that I'm reading, they are pertaining to the Most High God. So to love the God, to love the to love the Lord with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind, this is the commandment you're gonna do. Read verse eight. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Remember the what? The Sabbath day to keep it holy. Our next commandment that pertains to the Most High is to remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Read the rest of it. Six days 
Six days thou shalt labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath day of the Lord thy God. So the scripture says six days shall we do all our work. And the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord our God. You understand? So the seventh day, which is today, Saturday, is the Sabbath day. And our people, they reject that right there. They're going to read that and they're going to reject that right there. You understand? The scripture said, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. But yet they're going to say, you're going to say you all love the Lord. I love the Lord. I love Jesus. Yes, Jesus. No, you don't love the Lord. You hate the Lord.